A historic St. Louis house hit by a vandal. Missouri State Park staff say someone broke into the Scott Joplin house on Del Mar this weekend, causing widespread damage to the century-old building. Five on your side, Sarah Maki is there right now after hearing from a witness. Sarah. Yeah, despite all of these signs warning people to keep out, they believe that this man came into the building through a back window that has now been boarded up. Cameras didn't capture any of that, so they're unclear just how long that man might have been in the building. And now they're also unsure how long they will stay closed. More than 100 years ago, Scott Joplin sat in a second floor apartment here writing ragtime classics like The Entertainer. But the historic home now sits quiet, closed to visitors, while crews pick up the pieces, some which were thrown to the street below. Paperwork, it was a fire extinguisher out here. He had tools and stuff out here that he was just throwing out the window, throwing straight through the window. Shannon Williams called in the burglar when he saw some of the debris littering Del Mar Sunday morning, unaware that a man was still inside until he started yelling at police. He was saying, why do I have to die today? Can you please call my, one of my relatives? And he was throwing out numbers and stuff, and he was saying that I, I need my medicine. Staff are still totaling up the damage, bringing in some extra hands from other state parks sites to help everyone concerned by what they found. It was jaw dropping. It was very, um, uh, very upsetting, um, very concerning, you know, in terms of, well, when you arrive, you could see the things that had been thrown out on uh, out the windows on the street, broken ceramics and things. and. Then you go inside and you see what had occurred. It was it was very upsetting. William says the burglar was taken away from this area in an ambulance on Sunday. The damage will be here so much longer. Just old artifacts that, that was here for years, now they're just gone. They say they're not sure when they're going to open to the public again, but they do add that this incident might be incorporated into the site's history. They say there are certainly lessons here about preservation and restoration that they want to share with folks. Now, if you want to be a part of the effort to get them back open, you can make a donation to get the site back up and running on our website, ksdk.com. Just look for the story under the As Seen on TV section. Reporting live tonight, Sarah Maki, five on your side.